important to recognize that as a tremendous benefit to the county that we're able to have lower cost of land as compared to our coastal communities. But the truth is our, our county is the largest county in the country. So we have a lot more availability of land as well. So with lease rates that are almost 30% lower than our coastal neighbor, we're, we're, we're able to deliver a product at a value that's, that's unmatched. BNSF, one of our major rail lines, has recently purchased 4,500 acres in the Barstow area to build what's called the Barstow International Gateway, or how they term it as the big project, uh, designed to support local and global, global supply chain. So it, it's really meant to do a couple of things. One, it's supposed to help uh, make product uh, move faster. But then additionally, you think about the Inland Empire and, and the amount of uh, growth in the logistics and warehouse industry is, has also uh, led to additional growth on the roads for, for trucks as well. So with this project, it, it'll take millions of trucks off the road in, in our area, helping ease some of that congestion and be able to support additional businesses coming in as well. One of the major projects in the county that we're currently working on is a housing project. That project is called the Silverwood Project in Hesperia. It's a master plan community with walkable town squares, with retail and nearly 5,000 acres of open space, almost 400 acres of parks, and over 166 miles of paths and trails. With this, it's going to be a great place for people to locate their families and then also start new families as well. The first phase is already under construction, consisting of 2,000 homes, with homes to be expected to be delivered next year in 2025. Brightline West is a, is a major project in which is going to be able to connect Los Angeles to Las Vegas through a high-speed rail. So rail will start in Las Vegas. It will go through the San Bernardino County. Uh, there'll be stop in the high desert in um, Apple Valley, and then finish at Rancho Cucamonga to the Metrolink station. Uh, they'll be breaking ground today in April of 2024, with anticipated build being uh, done in time for the, the 2028 Olympics in, in Los Angeles. This project is gonna create thousands of jobs. It's really gonna benefit not only tourism, but just moving people throughout the, the, the region, uh, being able to take a rail line and go from uh, Los Angeles, the Los Angeles area or Rancho Cucamonga all the way out to Las Vegas in a little over two years without having to, to go through the Cohen Pass or, or drive. I think it's gonna be a huge benefit for, for not only us, um, but for the business community as well. Being able to co connect um, not only just the, the two markets, but being able to move people back and forth in a way that makes a lot of sense and very quickly.